why is my previously working spy point camera not sending photos to the app now? Are you getting ready to take a camera back to the woods that's worked previously, but now that you fired it up, it's not sending photos into the app? We're gonna talk about why this may be happening and what you can do to try to get that camera up and going. Always remember, it's way easier to work out any issues if you make sure that camera's functioning before you leave the house. We can fix a lot more from home than we can while we're in the field. First thing, and it seems silly, but let's just double check, did you replace the battery? Make sure you've got new batteries in there, that they're not mixed batteries, that they're a premium brand alkaline, a premium brand lithium. Make sure that you've got a good, reliable battery source in that camera. Next, you have the right SD card installed. Did you install a card at all? You've gotta have that SD card installed. Remember, it's gotta be class 10, it's gotta be at least two gigabytes, and it can't be more than 32 gigabytes. The other thing is make sure we're formatting that card. Whether it's a new card or an old card, always reformat those cards before they go into your cameras. Just because it's new out of the box doesn't mean that you aren't gonna potentially have issues with that SD card, so just format it. Make sure you're unclicking the quick format box. It only takes a couple more minutes to do the long format, and it does a way better job of making sure that that card's up and ready to go. Did you update the firmware before you tried to get the camera up and going? Easiest thing to do is just go into the app, check what firmware is showing for that camera on the status page of the app and check that against the support section on spypoint.com. Just make sure that it's the up-to-date firmware. If you don't know how to update it, we got this video right here that steps you through the entire process and you can, you can get that firmware up and going. The camera just might not be connecting to the servers properly, right? The camera's last communication time should basically be when you turned the camera on last. Okay, so if you've turned that camera on and it hasn't updated with the communication time and you've given it a couple minutes to reconnect to the servers, you need to consider reactivating that device. To reactivate the device, you simply delete the device from your SpyPoint account, which you can do at webapp.spypoint.com. Now you can only do this if you have the free 100 photo plan on it. You can't do this if you've got a paid photo transmission plan, but if it's on the free plan because you don't have it back out in the field yet, you can watch this video right here. It steps you through the entire process to delete that device from your account and then reactivate it and see if you can get it connecting to the servers. The last thing we need to consider is signal quality. If your signal quality isn't good enough to send out images, they aren't gonna show up in the app. You're looking for a green LED. You're looking for three signal bars on the cameras that show show the, the signal status on their status screen. You need to make sure you've got a quality signal. You might need to consider adding a CA01 signal booster. That's gonna be the quickest solution to try to improve your signal is add that CA01 signal booster. Plugs right into the camera and should be able to improve your signal a little bit to make sure you're getting those images out. The other thing you can do is watch the video that we did to help you maximize your signal strength and reliability. Make sure you're doing everything that you can. Make sure you have the right camera selected to make sure that you're getting the best performance out of the signal that's available in your area. If you run through all of these, you should be able to get that camera that's worked previously up and going now so that you can get it back in the field working for you. For more helpful and informative videos like this, visit spypoint.com support.